now. Hello, Zoo. Uh, could you tell us something about the experiment? Yeah, sure. Hello, hi. Um, we are trying to conduct a very beautiful microfluidic experiment, and uh, we are generating micro bubbles, as you can see on the screen. Uh, the bubbles come from a uh, left yeah. corner. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is actually water bubbles in uh, our oil environment. Okay. So let's see how to how how we make this. Yeah. You can move back to our platform. Yeah. Okay. We have uh, two pumps. Yeah. Uh, precisely control the speed, the flow rate of water and yeah. oil. Okay. okay. And uh, these pumps inject uh, the fluid into this platform here. Okay. Okay. And uh, let me just uh, find you where exactly. The so, what kind of created. fluids? Can you tell us something about the fluids? Yeah, sure. This is just uh, this is a uh, water. Okay. And that is oil. This is for demonstration only, but you can also use chemicals depending on the application of uh, uh, your experiment. Okay. And I just put a coin if you don't mind, yeah, just to give us yeah. perspective on the scale yeah. of it. Okay. So what is the principle behind, and uh, how are these bubbles made? This is pretty simple. Uh, you inject one liquid into the other. Yeah. Okay. okay. And because of the different flow rate can generate different size of our bubbles. And different physical qualities? Yeah. Great. Okay, so here it is. Yeah. This is where uh, the bubbles is actually made. You can see two pipes come from a uh, left uh, corner. Yes, I'm, yeah. I can see them. Uh, the top one is, uh, we call it the continual phase. Okay. And in there we have oil running. Okay. And uh, in the lower one is uh, uh, water injected into the continual phase. Great, great. Okay. And uh, the water is running at a relatively lower speed. Okay. Okay. So uh, in this way. Uh, so is basically does the bubble size depend on the ratio of the flow rate? Exactly. So if we change one of the flow rates, it will get, it okay. will change the size of the bubbles. Change the size of the bubbles, yeah. or I would say oil drop. Uh, sorry, the droplets. Yeah. Of them. Yeah. So can you take us back to the chambers, please? Yeah, sure. The advantage of this method is you can generate uniform size of the bubbles. Great. Okay. So, so you're saying they're all the same size? Yeah. Great. And you can control the size of uh, these uh, bubbles by changing the ratio of the fluid. Great. Great. So let's just uh, follow where these bubbles go. Okay. And, uh, here you have a separate channel. Yeah. And it comes to the trap area. Okay. So let me just uh, focus a little bit. Please. Oh yeah, this looks much better. Here we go. Can you tell us what these U-shaped things are? Yeah, these are uh, design. These are based on the platform and to trap this uh, this uh, this uh, bubbles. Okay. So you can uh, use it for analyze later. So yeah. basically, when the bubbles come in, they get trapped in these U-shape. That's right. Things. If you can have a look here. You can okay. See yeah. I can yeah. see some some uh, bubbles already got trapped. Okay, so these are basically bubble traps. Yeah. If I may call it. We want. So okay, great. Okay. Great, and so and this is where they are going out. Yeah, this is a. Uh, so basically, we would generate bubbles. Yeah. In a in a fluid, and then we trap them, and they're all the same size, and we. Okay, so we can use the ones we have trapped. Great, and can I have a look at the chip itself? Okay. Yeah. And if you could turn off the light because I won't be able to. Okay. Okay, now this is much better. So this is the actual chip. This is the platform we're using. And you can compare size with this coin here. Yeah, and this is a one pen, penny yeah. coin, isn't it? Yeah. So great. And can you just, with, with your, I mean, with a finger, with, a, with the key? Show us where the circuit actually is on the. Okay, you can see here. Okay. If you zoom in a little bit, this is yeah. uh, where we trap uh, the bubbles we okay. generated. Okay. But you won't be 
able to see the trumper and the obviously, white junction. Obviously, but if you could take the key and just tell us the length of, of the actual circuit. Okay. Yeah. Just demonstrate with the key. It yeah. starts from this point. Yeah, so this is the intake okay. of the fluid. Yeah. And then this is uh, the outtake. So this is the length of the entire yeah, experiment the, area. Yeah, that's right. Great, great. Okay. Thank you, Zoo. All right, thanks. Okay. okay. Thank you.